Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Danjo, here with part 15 of Armored Core Last Raven. Hope you guys are all doing well. It's um, running on original hardware, upscaled to 1080. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are, well, mostly original hardware. It's on a PS2 Slim. It just has, you know, a replacement optical drive and like an HDMI adapter, a new AC adapter, and I'm using a Hyperkin PS2 controller instead of uh, a Sony one. But anyway, um, the actual console and the memory cards are uh, first party OEM, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to clarify for you guys because uh, I didn't really talk about this too much yet, but I did uh, some research, and basically what I found out, um, what I had known before, but um, kind of forgot, because like I said, it's been quite a long time since I've played through the entirety of this game, 136%. But, uh, yeah, so what we did on the first mission path, because it kind of makes it easier to check your mission paths on the free mission page, um, we ended with the Eliminate AC Intruder mission. And, of course, each of these final things at the end are basically, like, their own endings. Um, and so we kind of did, like what I kind of consider to be the canonical first playthrough. Um, and basically what we did there is the uh, Evangel mission path. The guy that we talked to a couple times and in the final mission. Uh, but yeah, that there are a total of six endings to the game. So pretty, pretty staggering, pretty awesome. Uh, coincidentally, Elden Ring also has six endings. Kind of, uh, kind of cool there. Um, and this final one is not actually an ending thing, that's like the secret mission. So yeah, you get one, two, three, four, five, six. And basically those mission paths are... The, um, the Evangel Mission Path, the Leviathan, Zenaida, uh, Jacko, Pulverizer 2, and Pulverizer 1. Um, so since we did the Evangel Mission Path first, and I already did the uh, Distribution Center Recon Mission, I thought we would do the mission path for the guy that showed up in the last episode towards the end, uh, Jacko. Because that makes more sense to my brain and I like it. Um, yeah. And so, since I've already played through the game once and we have a lot more materials and whatnot now, um, I thought it would probably be a good idea to start focusing on S-ranking missions. Although I'm not gonna like retry missions multiple times in the episode to try to get S-rank. I'll probably do like an S-rank kind of wrap up at the very end of the game, which makes a lot more sense because then you can just do it in free missions and then it just saves whatever your best score is basically um that makes things quite a bit easier and then you don't have to worry about i'm fairly certain you don't have to worry about uh a couple of things for ammo and repairs or maybe you do I don't remember 
I do not recall. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, there were a few deviations I made um, <clears throat> on the path for... Excuse me. Ah, there we go. On the Evangel mission path. Um, some missions I could have taken and didn't. So I'm um, also not going to worry about those for a while until we actually have all the main mission paths. Um, to get any like stragglers, any S ranks I didn't get, any hidden parts I didn't grab, all that sort of thing. Uh, but we already did the VR arena. And for this mission, we have the choice of either destroy AC Sundial, which we've already done before. Uh, also, that is a request from Vertex, so I kind of want to ignore that. Or acquire the commodity. I almost said protect the commodity. That's not correct. Um, and this one is pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and check real quick to see what our FCS is. I don't think we need sniping per se, but mid-range should be fine. Um, this AC setup is pretty well-rounded. Um, it'll be good for most situations. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get the mission briefing and see what the dealio is, yo. The warlord operating out of the Hortus mining site has promised to supply us with a commodity we need. I'd like it if you were the one to accept the delivery. Normally I wouldn't ask a raven to carry out such a trivial task, but with things the way that they are, I'd rather be safe than sorry. You are free to eliminate any who attempt to interfere with the mission. I won't second guess your judgment. Good luck. That is surprisingly straightforward, and I like it. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, yeah, Jacko is pretty blunt. He's honestly, I think, my favorite NPC in the game. Definitely not Evangel. He's like way up his own ass. Um, there's one other character I really like, but um, we haven't really explored that character yet. So Oh yeah. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Nice work, Raven. Thank you, Sheila. I appreciate that. Nicely done. You just picked up a bounty reward. Cool. Let's clear out. Yeah. 
She was cool as fuck. Man, I am uh, so excited. So excited. I'm really hoping Ace Combat 6 is a real thing. Dragon. Look at the dragon. A rank, not bad. Not great, not perfect. Um, let's go ahead. I don't think any of those weapons I just got are any good, but. Test my mobile combat and get laser rifle energy. 68 shots. That's uh, actually not bad. It's like. It's lightweight. The energy drain is a lot lower. The usage drain is a lot lower. The range is lower, but you get like 20 more shots, which is really not bad. I mean, it fires off faster, too, so... The thing is... Well, I guess the Argos' firing interval is 40. That's only a little bit higher. 389, 383, so it's very similar to the Argos, actually. As far as like ammo and range and all that stuff goes, it's it's pretty good. Not bad. Um, the fact that it has like 20 more shots is pretty enticing. And like the ammo in the shade is 80, so pairing that with a 48 weapon is not great. Um, and the Gorgon might be considered. Sniper. And the energy drain is like a hundred and something lower. So like total firepower goes down, but like barely. Just barely. The Argos 2 is actually Kinda better, sorta. I don't know. Let me let me try it in a test situation real quick. Where is the other? One? Oh, okay. One percent attack power. It's just a standard rifle. Hundred shots, two eighty. It's not really great though, compared to some of the other options we have right now. Isn't the shadow better than that? What do they call it? Spectre. 100, 303, 42 firing interval. Oh, so it's faster. Is that what it is? Twenty-five firing interval. Yeah, that's faster. Okay, so that's actually not bad. Wait, did I sell the shadow? I don't know. Why did I do that? I love this thing. It's like probably the best rifle in the game. Like as far as like standard rifles go. Um Burst rifle? What does that even mean? Doesn't have a mag. Put single shot damage, 75,000. Like on paper, it sounds worse. The firing interval is 70, like what? Alright, I'm also just gonna buy the um, shadow as well. I'm gonna try out this 
quote unquote burst rifle. I have no idea what they mean. Um, and then pair it with the dragon, I guess, sure. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to pair it with the dragon right now. I'm going to pair it with that other new one that I got. Uh, yeah, this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I was gonna say I'm having kinda having trouble like seeing a little bit, but I was gonna adjust like my uh my screen here, but like, it looks good in the capture and I can see it, so it's fine. Oh, it fires like three at once. That's not bad. Kind of cool. Oh, that is pretty rapid fire. Target destruction verified. Test mode disengaged. That's not terrible. It's not bad. Not great. Not bad though. Yeah, sell the fan. Nope. Assembly. Let's go back to using the shade. And the new one I just got. The dragon. And hanger unit, sylph, and rock fort. Yeah, those are going to be the same. Uh, and then sell arm unit right. We'll go with the rock three, why do I have that one as well? I don't need this one. And bazookas, I honestly never use bazookas. Close range damage the next. Oh yeah, this was one of the rewards I got. No, this is a this is a great machine gun. The attack power is pretty low, but for like the fire rate and everything, it's really good. And I think the spread is pretty low too. So uh, and definitely the shadow gonna keep that. Um definitely gonna keep this one, because in certain situations that's awesome. And there is a right-handed version and it looks so cool to like use both of them not the most practical thing like it, it's not <laughs> um, on the left is that a hangar unit no the Argos 2 can be a hangar unit but not the not the first Argos yeah I'm not using this at all so I'm just gonna sell it uh, handgun with firepower equivalent to the handguns are good sometimes. Uh, I'll I'll keep it for now. Um, and I guess I'll keep this one. I just don't. Yeah, the Spectre is forty-two. I guess the Spectre is slower. I mean, I guess if I'm gonna go with like a standard rifle and a setup, then it's gonna be fine, but. Alright, the dragon and the shade together, I'm gonna see how. Also, wait, we do have the energy weapon optional parts equipped, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Um. Yeah, just MTs again. I don't wanna spend the extra time on an AC. I'll know by feel alone. These ATST looking motherfuckers, they are really bound. Okay. Yeah, that's good.
Yeah. Okay. Target destruction verified. Test mode is mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Although I might switch back to using the birdie uh boosters. Or something that has like a low charge drain. I think there's like things that have a lower drain than the birdie, but Oh, did I sell it? Oh. 3,000. 38, where? Oh, the birdie's actually, oh. The drain is pretty high, the heat is the best in class, yeah. Um. And the goal is really good, but the heat is really high, which is a problem. I mean, my cooling right now is nothing to scoff at, but it's, like, not it's super best. I would rather go with this guy and then just increase the boost power a little bit. Yeah. Then tune it. Acceleration is not bad at 4,000, like that's really not bad. Yeah, let's just increase the boost power. Yeah, charge drain only being at 2,900, like that's really, really low. Like, it's, it's the lowest power one, but, like, the charge drain and heat is just better. Like, and I, I don't need to move, like, super fast. Like, 369 is still respectably fast. Like, that's still fine. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and save. Um... Let's see, we got like 10 to 15 minutes left, so let's see, we got time for like one or two more missions. Um, so acquire the commodity is what I just did. The next one would be pursue withdrawing MT. So I'm just gonna let this, um, uh, I'm just gonna let the briefing play, and while that happens, I'm going to look up if there is a hidden part in this mission. We'd like you to investigate Vertex's material storage site. The facility is connected to Vertex headquarters, so it came as quite a surprise when we learned that forces stationed there were being withdrawn. Reason for doing so isn't clear, but it might be an attempt to lure us into a trap. This possibility is a concern, but now is probably our best chance to conduct a survey. Once inside the facility, follow the withdrawing Vertex forces and gather what information you can. Proceed with caution, Raven. Okay, so the objective name is Pursue the Withdrawing MT, okay. Um, um,
Okay, here we go. Okay, so apparently there's nothing special about this mission. It's actually pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead and just do this one. Um, sorry about that. Um, pursue it, but don't, but don't damage it. Is that what they were saying? Just says to follow them. All right. I don't think. Um. Hmm. Oh, it's in this one. Okay, yeah, I know what they're talking about. The he wants you to have a look around. Follow the enemy MT and see where it leads you. Oh wait, don't shoot it. Watch what you hit. Well, I can lock onto it. I'm sorry. Okay. Is it? Whoa, whoa. Uh, hold on. Nope. That one just not. Uh, shit. Oh, okay. You're jeopardizing the mission. Well, I, I'm not intentionally doing that, okay? Ah. Uh. Oh my goodness, really? It's not dead yet? Okay. Oh wait, the shield guys? Oh, it's like the shield guys from Dark Souls 2. That that's why they weren't going down before. Okay. You walked right into a trap, Raven. Oh, that wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, single hit damage would have been better. Wait, Jacko? Why me? Their true strength can't be gauged from this. Really? That was it? Mission objective achieved. System switched to normal mode. That was Jack's AC. What's going on? Maybe Ed knows something. Let's head back. Um, that's Jack O. Sheila, not Jack. But I, I know what you meant. We're talking about the same person. Ugh. B. Yeah, I know. I freaking shot the thing. I damaged the guy. I didn't protect him good enough. It's fine. We'll get an A. We'll get an S rank later. Doesn't matter. All right, Flurstol. Alright, so what are we doing now? We got Protect the Cargo or Retake Distribution Center. I'm guessing it's Protect the Cargo. Uh there's Recover the Cargo. Um... 
Nope, it's retake distribution center. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, to those of you who are uh, unfamiliar, I'm having to use multiple guides um, to like cross-reference and make sure of uh, different things because uh, some of these guides are not the written for the North American release of uh, the North American PlayStation 2 release of Armored Core Last Raven because there was also a PlayStation Portable release which was inferior and um, there was also other English versions of the game and then some of the guides which were kind of translated and stuff so it's uh, it's a little confusing because uh, some of the mission names and such are like a little bit different um, so yeah to to ensure accuracy I have to use like uh, I'm using five different guides right now. But yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a retake distribution center, like I was saying. And this will probably be the final mission on this episode. The Diorgan distribution center has been taken over by forces working for one of the warlords. This facility is important to us because of its proximity to Vertex's Cirque City headquarters. We'd like to take care of the matter on our own, but we can't afford to pull any troops off the front lines right now. Please eliminate the invaders and retake the facility. Make sure to keep any damage inflicted on the facility to a minimum. We need to re-establish it as a base of operations as soon as possible. Okay. That's, uh... It's pretty straightforward. I'd probably be better off taking more firepower for this mission, but it should be fine. For the most part, I don't want to. Main system engaging combat mode. Eliminate all enemy forces occupying the facility. Uh, whoa. Yeah, for the most part, I don't want to, like, change my loadout every single time right now. Objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Good job, Raven. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Got him. 
Yeah, that went uh, pretty smoothly, honestly. A rank, yeah, I kind of figured. Conferred. I mean, Ace pretty good, though. Like, for now, I don't... Like I said, for now, I don't really care about S-ranking missions, but if it happens, cool. If it doesn't, I don't really care. But... Uh, let's see, we got time for one more, actually. Um, cover the cargo. That's the only mission available, so I'm assuming this is the right mission. Unless I screwed up. Nope, this is correct. Uh, let's go ahead and check. Cover the... For the no, there's no hidden part here, so that's uh, totally fine. And after this one, should be protect Allied Squadron. Transport aircraft experienced mechanical problems during a top secret mission and crashed in the Garab Desert. This happened over an hour ago. The cargo the transport was carrying is extremely valuable, and there are those who would go to any length to recover it. In fact, we may already be too late. Please head to the crash site and recover the cargo. Eliminate any resistance you encounter. We need you to come through for us, Raymond. Okay, so this one's pretty straightforward. Um, I might need a longer range setup, but we'll find out. I mean, 500 is decent range, but I might need like longer than that, like sniper kind of setup. Some closer, like 7 or 800. these guys. Yeah. yeah, never mind. This was a good setup for this. The client wants all of those things destroyed. Hold your fire until they surface. Adam. Mission objective achieved. 
system switch to normal mode. Nice work, Raven. Thank you, Sheila. I appreciate that. That was probably pretty good. It took a little bit longer than what I would have liked, but probably A rank. S rank, nice. Means I won't have to redo that mission. <laughs> Excellent. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for today. Just want to double check. Raging Torrent. We've already done that. Destroy AC Vigilance. Protect Allied Squadron. Wasn't that the one that I said we're going to have to do next? Uh, yes. Yes. So let's go over the briefing real quick, and then next time we'll actually tackle the mission. But um, yeah, let's let's uh, let's hear about what's going to be happening next time. Ooh, safeguard all to earn a bonus. We like your help in infiltrating the Super City. Our plan is to launch a surprise attack on Vertex headquarters using the squad. destination by way of the Aerosol Dam. The area around the dam is lightly defended and offers the squadron its best chance of reaching the target intact. Your role in the mission will be to escort the squadron through the Aerosol Dam region and protect it from enemy attacks. You'll receive a bonus if none of the units are lost en route to their destination. Good luck. Okay, so did he specify the squadron or the helicopter? Oh, it says friend, and it shows the helicopter units. Okay, so I gotta escort the helos through the dam, make sure none of them get destroyed. And if I do that, we'll get an AC part as a reward, which is another weapon. But yeah, uh, so that is the S rank on this one, and it sounds like that's the only condition for S rank, is you have to just make sure none of the helicopters get destroyed. Um, I do remember this map. It's quite a big one. Uh, so I'm almost definitely going to have to go with a sniper setup which would be, and as far as the AC parts go, I'm pretty comfortable with these parts. As far as like the arms, leg, core, and head. Um, so basically all I'm gonna have to do is change out the FCS. And the weapons. Go with uh, a radar, definitely. Probably the worms. Probably. Um, I mean, those are the ones I have right now, so. And we'll just uh, see how that goes. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I don't think so. performance. Um, yeah, that should about do it. Okay. But yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. So thank you very much for stopping in. Greatly appreciate it. I hope you all had a good time. And of course, before we get going, a very special thank you going out to the Farts and Craps Show members, which at the time of recording this is just Novalis Draconis. But if you want to be awesome like Novalis Draconis, 
check out the join button down below. Tiers start at three bucks a month for the basic one if you guys want to support the show more directly and get membership perks. But yeah, until next time everybody, have a beautiful day. Take care.